Okay, let's make a deterministic finite automaton for this language, which is the set of all binary strings W, where W starts with a zero and has odd length, or W starts with a one and has even length. So as an example, if W was zero, 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 it starts with a zero and has odd length. And if it w instead was a one, zero, one, zero, it starts with a one and has even length. So these two are okay. But suppose that we had the string zero, one, it starts with a zero, it has even length, and so should not be accepted by our DFA. And likewise, if we just have 101, it starts with a one, but it has odd length, and so it should not be accepted. How would you approach things like this? Or is the same thing as union? We could make a DFA for this first part, and then a DFA separately for the second part, and apply the product construction to those two DFAs. And that will make a gigantic DFA that we might not want to deal with. Let's do a smarter approach. The smarter approach is knowing that the beginnings of the two cases, namely the strings in both cases, are completely separate because one of them starts with a zero always and the other one always starts with a one. So we can automatically split the two pieces of the DFA apart. What do we do first? Let's focus on the conditions of being in the language in either case, and then add all the missing transitions later. So we always need a start state, clearly. So then if we have a starting with a zero, we're automatically gonna stay in the first case, no matter what, and we're never gonna go into the second case and vice versa. So I'm going to draw this with a zero going up and a one going down. So this is going to be some DFA that involves odd lengthiness, and this one is gonna be even lengthiness. Well, if we think about what odd and length and even length mean, that just means we're, every character we read is going to switch between odd and even in length. And in either case, we have read an odd number of characters, one at this point, once we reach either of these two states. So in the zero case, this needs to be an accepting state because we have read an odd number of characters, and for the one case, it must not be one. And so therefore, this is gonna be marked as a final state and that's not going to be. But then how are we going to build each of the pieces? Either case is always gonna to correspond to even or odd length. So each case is gonna have two states up here. And this one's going to correspond to, we have read an even number of things after the initial zero, which means that we have read an odd number in total. But that means we need to read a zero and one to go over to the other parity case and a zero one to go back to the other case and vice versa down here. So then what about down here? Well, this can't be a final state, but this one should be for reasons that are somewhat obvious. Because if we've read a single one here, then by induction we can prove that we have read an odd number, some odd number, to get to this state. And then if we read one more, that's even, and then we are in this state. And once we have read the initial zero and one, we don't care what the rest of the string is other than what its length is. So this is a minimum size DFA for all the strings, binary strings, that start with the zero and have odd length, or start with the one and have even length.